two little denominators in this problem, okay? Uh, we have a little denominator of 7 and a little denominator of x. That x minus 7 in the numerator doesn't have a little denominator. Okay, so our LCD here is 7x. So if you do remember, we go through and we multiply everything by that LCD. The purpose of doing that is for those little denominators to cancel. So in the numerator, it didn't have a denominator. Okay, so we're just going to uh, copy down that multiplication. You could go ahead and multiply that out if you wanted to condense some steps here. Okay, but I want to make sure everybody sees where everything comes from. So in the denominator, the first rational expression, the sevens cancel. X times X is what we're left with. Don't forget about your minus sign right there. For the second one, the X's cancel, so we've got seven times seven. Now, in this case, I'm going to leave the numerator in factored form because there's, that's the only thing in the numerator is 7x times x minus 7. If there was plus something else after that or minus something else after that, then yes, I would have to multiply it out, combine like terms, and then factor again, but it's already in factored form. So then when I multiply out my denominator, x times x is x squared, 7 times 7 is 49. The only thing that I have to worry about factoring here is the denominator because the numerator is already factored. The denominator, x squared minus 49, is the difference of perfect squares. So that factors into x plus 7 times x minus 7. We can cancel the x minus 7. We are left with 7x in the numerator and x plus 7 in the denominator. And that is it. Don't cancel those x's. Don't cancel those sevens because of the plus in the bottom. That's as far as you can go. Um, similar to with the rational expressions, with the operations, and I told you that you could check by picking a value for x and plugging it in to the original and the final expression. You can do that here uh, to check and make sure that you have the right answer. Uh, you just have to be very, very careful with your parentheses on those. I might do it with this example since it's a little bit more complex. Okay, so we have x plus 4 minus 1 over x plus 4 all over x plus 11 plus 48 over x minus 3. Okay, so we only have two little denominators. I don't think that's the issue. Okay, identifying that the LCD here is x plus 4 times x minus 3. What most people tend to forget, though, where they make the most mistakes on these, is these expressions, the x plus 4 and the x plus 11, the ones that don't have a denominator, they tend to forget that they need to multiply that as well by the LCD. Now, nothing's going to cancel there, but you still have to multiply by the LCD. If you don't, then your expression is unbalanced. Now, some of you are probably catching on to, well, that's going to cancel, so I really don't have to write this out for every single step, and that's fine. I just caution you to be very careful um, when you do that. Okay, so the first one didn't have denominator, nothing cancels. So we've got x plus 4 times x plus 4. What's that? Mm -hmm. I can. It's okay. No problem. You want me to send a report? Okay, x plus 4 times x plus 4 times x minus 3. Don't lose that negative in there. The x plus 4s cancel here, so then we've got x minus 3 over 
in the bottom didn't have a denominator, so x plus 4 times x plus 11 times x minus 3. Don't lose the plus. The x minus 3's cancel, so we have 48 times x plus 4. Now, we're going to have a little bit more multiplying on this one. But let's see if we can make life just a little bit easier. Okay, because I'm not a huge fan of having to multiply a binomial times a binomial times another binomial. It gets a little lengthy. So I'm going to do something that's a little bit easier. Okay, so let's look at the numerator. Okay, look at the entire numerator here. What does this term times 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 for just a second, and hopefully you'll see my purpose in doing this, okay? I'm going to take out the x minus 3 because they have that in common. So when I take that out, I've got x plus 4 times x plus 4. And what do I have to put in the place for the last one? i got to put a minus 1, okay? i got to kind of hold the place there. In the denominator, they don't have x minus 3 in common, but they do have something in common. They have x plus 4. So it'd be nice if those were the same thing, because then we could cancel them. But it still makes life a little bit easier. And I just use the square brackets there since I have so many parentheses going on. There's really no significance in using the square brackets versus the parentheses, except for the fact that we've got a lot of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the expression that's inside brackets, and then I'm going to multiply it by the x minus 3 in the numerator and the x plus 4 in the denominator. Now, do I necessarily, like, am I going to require you to do this stuff right here if you want to do a problem like this? No. Okay, I'm just showing you one way that will kind of make the work a little bit uh, more condensed, I guess you'd say. Uh, some of you, I'm sure, would argue that it's easier to do it the other way, and that's fine. You should come to the same conclusion. Um, I'm just showing you some techniques that will come in handy at other times as well. All right, so x plus 4 times x plus 4 gives us x squared plus 8x plus 16, but I'm going to go ahead and subtract that 1 from it so that I don't have to write that entire line all over again just to subtract 1. In the denominator, keep the x plus 4 in front. Uh, let's see here. x squared minus 3x plus 11x is plus 8x. And 11 minus, or excuse me, 11 times negative 3 is negative 33. Negative 33 plus 48 is 15. Oh, look at what just happened right there. All right, so at this point, we can cancel this because we have x minus 3 is a factor times x squared plus 8x plus 15 is a factor. Um, so we can cancel those x squares plus 8x's plus 15's, and it makes life a little bit easier. Um, so even though these expressions look nothing like each other right here, when you expanded it and simplified it, actually ended up being the exact same expression. Now, had you not known the factoring here, then you would have had to expand all of this and gone back and factored it. Probably, maybe by grouping. Grouping may have worked. I also can't remember how that was problem in the past. Um, but that's how you can really simplify that expression. Okay? So look for things like this. 